Alcohol. Tobacco. Firearms. Death Metal. Hey everybody, it's Luke with Figure Me Out, and today I've got something so exciting to go over. It is the G.I. Joe Classified Series Baroness with Cobra C-O-I-L, Coil, from the Special Missions Cobra Island series of G.I. Joes made by Hasbro. Taking a look at the box art, and we've got, this is our first vehicle in the 6-inch uh, Joe line, so that's why I'm super excited about this. Joe's all about the vehicle, and this is number one, vehicle numero uno. So... Looking at the box there, and a pretty cool picture of her on the side there. If we turn it to the other side, we've got an awesome little, you know, very spy-looking artwork kind of there. I'm going to try and hold that up because it's not all going to fit in frame. It's number 13, G.I. Joe Classified on the top. On the bottom, we've got, of course, barcode and words and such. On the side, we've got the file card, and I'm going to put up what this is, what that is, what that is, and what that is while we're going through this. Uh, I'm going to hopefully pop that up on the screen. And then on the back, we've got the uh, Special Missions Cobra Island, and we've got three different places highlighted. So that's pretty cool. Normally, we just got the two, but this one's even bigger, so we've got the three. So that looks awesome. Let's go ahead, and I'm going to crack this girl open, and we'll take a closer look at what's inside. And here she is out of the package, and taking a look at all the stuff that she comes with, and she comes with a lot of stuff. Uh, first off, we have an alternate head. I don't know if this is the one that came on or if it was the other one. I think it was the other one. I think it was this one in the packaging. But uh, first off, we get this face. Let me just zoom in here. And that is absolutely awesome. That is a very good likeness for her. Um, the hair is really good. The face printing on this is amazing. Um, it really looks like a human face, uh, despite the fact that it is an action figure. It really looks human. There's a little bit of teeth poking through. Just gives it that extra feel of like that's a real person. Um, it looks a lot better in hand than it does on video. I'm looking at it through the thing. Um, she's a little bit more pale. Here it's kind of yellowing her out a bit, but um, she's got a good skin tone to her, so it's, it's cool. Talking about the rest of the accessories here, and we get a couple of guns that uh, plug into the side of the coil. I'm not sure what coil stands for. Should have looked that up beforehand. But we get a couple uh, guns that plug into the side there, and those are pretty cool. Um, same gun, except for the only difference is that on either one, the peg is on an opposite side. So it plugs into either side of the of the bike there. So that's nice. We also get this uh, little coily cobra snake charm bracelet gun hypnotizing ray, whatever the heck this thing is. Um, it's cool enough. It's pretty neat. Looks like a little snake. It does kind of sit on the ground so you can stand it up that way if you want to. Looks like maybe it's like a little, you know, mechanized cobra thing <laughs> i don't know what this is but it's awesome looking uh, and it does fit in her hand pretty well definitely looks like one of those evil cobra weapons i'm gonna take her off the bike here real quick we'll take a closer look at that here in a second but just talking about the rest of the stuff that she comes with we get the other alternate head which is the helmeted head and that looks pretty good looks like a motorcycle helmet and uh yeah pretty good there good sculpt work not a whole lot of paint but i do like how that's gloss on the windshield or the visor there and it's kind of more matte on the rest of it so it does give it a really good feel there's also some cobra fangs kind of sculpted in there there's there's some detail in there if you get up close to really like so that's cool she also gets this little knife another little cobra knife because uh you know in case we didn't know who we're dealing with here this is a cobra operative <laughs> so uh yeah everything's got to be cobra themed Hence the mini Cobras on the uh, outfit there. We also get two guns that are uh, cast in this gold color. That's all there is to them. And they're pretty good. You know, they're probably the most realistic looking of all the weapons that she comes with. So that's pretty all right. They still look a little, you know, spacey though. But that's all right. They look pretty good. And talking about Baroness herself, let's put her head back on first and foremost. And boom, that just completes the look. That is a good looking Baroness figure. Um... Talking about the figure herself and just an incredible amount of sculpt work, incredible amount of paint detailing. Uh, not really a paint detailing so much, but just the sculpt and everything, fantastic on point. I love how on the glasses they put that little extra hint of gold on the rim of them. It just kind of adds to it. Talking about the outfit here, and there's like a little cobra head on the shoulder there. You know, got these different shoulder pieces for each side. Also, these shoulder pieces, I think that uses that new technology that they were talking about with the new, uh, what is it, uh, Iron Man, the Silver Centurion that's coming out later this year. Hasbro's talking about it. But as you can see, that shoulder pad 
moves independently of the arm. We'll get over that more in articulation, but that's really cool. I like that. Talking about the arms and everything, just Cobra logos everywhere. You know, Cobra logo here, Cobra logo there, Cobra logo everywhere on both arms and the chest, on the belt. Um, thought there was one on the shoe, but I guess not. But just, I mean, everything. Kind of scaly armor type thing. Gloss here, matte there. Um, the armor up at the top has kind of like a scaly texture to it. Just fantastic. Just an amazing amount of detailed sculpt work there. I can't imagine that they're not going to reissue this figure in a normal release without the bike. Because it's just, it's so unique and just so... Uh, so awesome of a sculpt. I mean, I can't imagine that they would not reuse that. Hasbro, being Hasbro, they're going to reissue this figure at some point. But uh, yeah, just, I mean, an incredible amount of paint, even on the side of the boots. Got these little gold rings there. That's really cool. Um, I keep saying an incredible amount of paint. What I mean is sculpt. Just an incredible amount of detail in general. There is good paint and everything. But whenever I say paint, I've meant detail like this whole time. And talking about the uh, coil, the bike there, this is uh, kind of cool because this is the first uh vehicle that we've gotten in our six inch joe line and gi joes are uh if anything they're definitely known for the vehicles so how does the vehicle stack up and uh pretty pretty cool i like it a lot um cool painting on there you know the paintwork looks good cast in some different colors and things but uh where it is painted it's painted clean um it is you know big big chunk big chunk of plastic it's pretty got a pretty good heft to it you know they kind of hit the screws down in there they're pretty recessed on the inside of these holes here. Uh, one thing that's kind of cool is that the uh, the front wheel actually does turn the handlebars, which is nice. But then the um, the handlebars, they actually came out with one of these not on in the package, and I don't want to break it here, but they kind of pop out. And you can see there's like a little ball and socket there. So whenever you pop that in, you kind of get a little bit of articulation to the handlebar, which is nice. It seems kind of weird until you start going to try and fit her in there and you realize like, oh, it'd be cool if, you know, I don't want her to be turned this certain way or like her arm only goes this far and then you can just adjust the handlebars themselves rather than the figure. It's like it's working together in tandem. So that was some pretty good forethought. Uh, one thing that's kind of odd is there's this little yellow stripe here on the front wheel. I don't see anything on the back wheel like that. And that's on either side. There's nothing else. It's just that one stripe on the front there. I'm not sure what that's for, um, but either way, it's fine. Um, the windshield actually is articulated too. It moves up and down just a little bit. Uh, and you can take that off if you really wanted to. So you can have it with the uh, windshield-less look. And what I was talking about before on the sides here, there are little peg holes where you can plug in these guns. So that kind of completes the look, makes it look extra good. And now you can shoot stuff as you're riding on your motorcycle. Pretty fun. Talking about articulation, and uh, she can look up a pretty good amount. She can look down really good though. Um, the hair does kind of flip up whenever she does that. However, whenever you take this off, if you put the alternate head on there with the motorcycle helmet, she looks up a ton more. So, I mean, you can see that's the difference. She could barely kind of look up just a little bit before. And now with that one, she can look up all the way, like almost laying flat, like she's, you know, base jumping or something. And she can look down an incredible amount too. There is a double uh, peg there, so you do get a pretty good amount of tilt as well. Not as much as some of the other Joes, because that bottom one, you can see it doesn't really do as much, but still a pretty good amount. And then the uh, ball and socket at the top. At the shoulders, they come out that far, so better than 90. They come back in, a little tight there. They do a full rotation, and like I said earlier, that top uh, shoulder pad kind of moves with the arm, which is awesome. I love that. We got a butterfly that goes back a little bit, goes forward a little bit, which is fine. No bicep, but there is a single jointed elbow and it's rotated to go there. Um, at the arms, or at the hands, excuse me, there are hinged to go down and up in the proper way. So that's pretty cool. And they do a rotation as well. At the top of the diaphragm, you get a pretty good amount of uh, articulation there. So you can go back, forward, side to side. The back is the, probably the most incredible. I don't know if you can see that, but that is pretty much all the way back. Um, forward, not so much because it kind of runs into the sculpt there a bit, but then side to side is really good as well. You also get added because there's a thing at the bottom there, and that gets forward a little bit, back a little bit, and then side to side a little bit. Combined, you get about that far forward, so not much. You get an incredible amount of back, and then you get pretty good amount of tilt. The rotation's at the bottom of the torso. It is really tight on mine, and uh, it clicks into a detent, so I'm trying not to do that too, too much. The hips go out this far. They kick forward an incredible amount, uh, and probably even more, but it starts to kick out at that point. Um, and they do have the drop-down hips, like most of the Joes have been. doesn't really get back so much, but you get an upper thigh swivel, which is hidden on this side by that knife sheath. 
Uh, and then on that side, you can kind of see the cut there. Um, there's a double jointed knee comes in all the way. So that's cool. And then we get ankles that go down, ankles that go up, but they run into the sculpt there. So that's as far up as they go. So they don't really go up. And then we do get a crazy ankle rocker pivots. For a size comparison here, she is next to a couple of bad guys. And here she is next to a couple of good guys. And here she is next to some other lines. We've got the uh, Marvel Legends Bucky Cap there on the left with Union Jack, and then the McFarland Fortnite Skull Trooper on the right. So that's it. That's the new Target exclusive Special Missions Cobra Island uh, Baroness. Um, I gotta say, I love this figure. Um, it's probably one of my favorite Joes so far. Definitely my favorite female Joe. Not much to compare there with Scarlet. Sorry, Scarlet. But that's still probably my least favorite figure in the line so far. But this, if they kept going with this going forward, that's the way they need to go because this is awesome and I love it. Uh, what'd you guys think? Um, first off, huge shout out to my local comic book shop uh, for hooking me up with this. They have one come in and um, they've got a gift for getting things that nobody can get. So I really appreciate that. Huge shout out to those guys. Um, what'd you guys think of this? Are you picking it up? If you can, um, it's going to be hard to find. It already is hard to find. And I know a lot of people have been hunting for it. So hopefully everybody that wants one can get one. And hopefully, if not, they do a reissue of this because it is awesome. I definitely don't think they're going to keep this um, for being in the single cards. I think that eventually this is going to come back out as a regular release without the motorcycle. So if you just like the figure, that's cool. Um, it, honestly, the motorcycle is great, but I would buy just the figure again uh, just to have one separate. So uh, it's that good of a figure. So what'd you guys think? Hit like, hit subscribe, check me out over on Instagram, Luke underscore figure me out at Instagram.com. I'm going to have some more pictures up there. And uh, in the meantime, until we meet again, happy collecting.